Hi there, I'm back and this morning I would like to do a quick DIY project that's really fun and really, really useful. This is going to be a, a, a drying rack for my makeup brushes for when I wash them and that way they can hang upside down and dry properly so that the the uh, the brushes don't get damaged from, from all the water staying down in the barrel of the brush. And what I have here is just one of these um, pretty inexpensive dish racks. The, these are those expanding racks that you can buy at like Walmart. Um, I think maybe Target has them online and you might even find them um, it, at the dollar store, although I couldn't find them by uh, where I live, <laughs> unfortunately. I did find these at Walmart. They're the kind of rack that you can put in your cupboard and you can put dishes or bowls or whatever underneath and then you can stack something on top. That way you don't have everything, you know, in this giant stack. You can get to things on the bottom without having to, you know, take everything off the top of the stack. Um, they're just a simple kind of rubber coated wire rack. Um, when I bought these at Walmart, I was only able to find a set of three. They didn't have any that were sold individually, at least at, not at my location. But it, they weren't very expensive for the three, and I thought, well, maybe I'll use the other two for something else. And as it uh, turns out, I can use this one for demo purposes. Um, this is the smallest one. And also this way, too, I thought this one would be sufficient for my use. As it turns out, I needed the larger medium size to fit all my brushes. Um, the only other thing you're going to need is some rubber bands. And the best thing to find, if you can find it, is a package of rubber bands where they're all the exact same size. I also found these at Walmart. Um, these are really excellent for this purpose. And I didn't notice this till I got home, so if this is important to you as well, it's a business that is women-owned and run. So double bonus points there. So, And they are made in the United States, another nice thing. So this um, particular brand here that I found at Walmart is the Advantage Rubber Bands, and it is the size number 32. I don't know... If it makes a huge difference what size you use, I mean, obviously you don't want those really teeny tiny ones, as long as they're all the same size, so you get the same uh, strength of elasticity once it's stretched out. And then all you're going to do is you're going to start loading rubber bands on the rack going crosswise to the bars, okay? So the, how that works is you're just going to stretch the rubber band over the feet and onto the rack like so. You could do this while you're sitting out in the living room or at your computer watching the latest episode of your favorite show that you recorded, <laughs> DVR'd or whatever. And you just kind of keep going like that until you have all the way across. You really want to pack quite a few on, especially if you have a lot of brushes because once you get the handles in there, especially the wider handles for like blush and powder and bronzer brushes, the handles get a little fat. Um, they're going to, you know, open this wide up. So you want quite a few on here to make sure it's nice and snug. Then once you're done getting them on this way, then you want to put a few this way. So pardon me, I just got to stand this up out of shot for just a second. Here we go. Like that. And then you're going to put a few this way. So you have your crisscross pattern. like that and then you can see here that crisscross is where you're going to be able to put your brushes in there upside down and they hang upside down see and then let's put and put a, a little bit wider brush in there as well the bigger ones see and that's how that works it's just it's just the coolest thing I absolutely love this thing um, like I said, I needed the larger rack, and I will show you what that looked like when I got it finished. This is the medium size of the dish racks. Let's see, I don't know. Yeah. But this is... Let me back up just a little bit here so you can see the whole thing. Okay. So this is what mine turned out to look like once you get all the rubber bands in there. And then you can put your, your large brushes in, like that. Like so. 
And what I did find, oh, and, and odd shaped handles like this. This one's kind of wide, but it's flat. So sometimes you might put this in here and it feels a little looser. It's dangling or hanging sideways. All you need to do is turn it like that. And it hangs really nice. Um, one thing I did find when I made this was some of my, my smaller eye brushes with really skinny handles um, were kind of loose or they'd hang sideways like that. And if you have a whole bunch of brushes, they kind of bang into each other and you don't want to bend the bristles. So what I did to solve that problem, on one end, I just loaded up about seven or eight more rubber bands. See how, I'll get try to get close. See how tight this is compared to out here. And that solved the problem. Now I have a space. This end is for all my really skinny handled brushes. Sometimes you might have to play with it a little bit till it hangs straight. Okay, that one's not cooperating. There we go. No. <laughs> um, but this way you've got a spot for all your little ones. There we go. And all your larger brushes as well. This is just a, the coolest DIY project. And I can't take credit for this because I did find it on a couple of YouTube videos here. Uh, on the site and when I saw what, them putting it together and how fast and easy it was and I thought oh my god this is a miracle it's fantastic um, it's it just works fantastic I absolutely love it it's and it's cheap to put together um, one other thing I wanted to mention real quick though too is if you have some larger uh, blush or foundation brushes uh, powder brushes that sort of thing um, certain brands have really really fat handles like this one here is an elf but it tapers, so I don't have any issues um, putting it through between the bars. So, it, you know, the, your handles would have to fit between the actual bars of the, of the dish rack itself. I have one brush that qualifies. And if you're somebody that has a collection of larger brushes from, say, Real Techniques, where you know their brush handles will actually taper out and get wider towards the butt end, um, they won't fit, some of them won't fit between the bars. So what I did to solve that problem, and this was right when I got a brand new Morphe M439. I thought, oh no, it doesn't fit. Well, this is what I did to solve that problem. So I just hang it on the outside like this. And it, it is a little heavy, so I didn't want it to, to fall off. So I just kind of stretch the rubber band a little bit, wrap it around like that. Okay, come on. And it hangs on the outside like that. And so there you go. That solved that problem. So all, and then once you have all your cleaned and wet brushes here, you just want to put it in an area where it gets a really good air circulation um, and you're good to go. And they'll be dry usually by the next day. And what I do is I put, I take mine in my office, which is also my sewing room. And so my ironing board is up against the wall on one side. And the wall it happens to be against, uh, there's a heating vent along the floorboard. And so I just stand this on the ironing board. And so I get a nice little warm air, you know, flow every time the furnace kicks in. And it dries my brushes fairly quickly. Within seven, eight hours, they're pretty dry and good to go. So that is my fun DIY project for today. I hope this is helpful to you, and I hope you give it a try if you're looking for a rack and don't want to spend $15, $20, $25 on Amazon or somewhere for a chunk of plastic that's probably going to crack or fall apart or something. Um, but this one is sturdy. It works really well, and if you snap a rubber band, you replace the rubber band. It's, what, like less than two cents for one of these? So I hope you give it a try. It's a fun, easy project that's quick to do, and it's very, very useful. So on that note, if you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any new uploads. And with that, have a great day. Bye-bye.